Welcome back to Try Before We Die, the whiskey review show where we don't know what we're drinking, but we'll tell you what we're thinking. Hey, Mal. How's it going, Cole? This is my pal Mal, everybody. It's good to be here yet remember, again. Remember my name in paintball? M-J. And Maniac. Yes. Yes. The good old days. Yeah, they were the... Oh, just looking at your hair. They were the good old days. <laughs> just go yeah. and do something. <laughs> just just press, press the button. I'll need press, press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. A lot of whiskey in this bar. Yeah. Unscripted. Unplanned. We don't know what we're going to get into, but we'll tell you what we think of bottle... <gasps> oh, 15! <15. laughs> oh my oh. gosh! So these... Rows happen to be 15 across. So we're going to just press again. <laughs> oh, this is the thing, right? The crew is loving this, right? This is the thing, everybody. It's real. 15. Wow. So we're going to go this way. No. No, actually. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. No, that's a good bottle, but this is... Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say this to... So, so the, so our viewers can actually feel the the, the tension and the, and the excitement. excitement. Like that bottle is that, and I've stared at it from season one and been really scared. And at this moment in time, I am so forward to looking forward to drinking this. So this is the Ardbeg <laughs> drum. <laughs> the crew is loving this right now, right? You just wonder. So this is the limited edition. We'll have to figure out what year this was the release. Um, <clears throat> pineapple notes, brine, ripe bananas, and it's an Ardbeg coming in at 46%. Now at any point I could just call cut and you would never know that this was the <laughs> bottle that got picked. But that's not how we roll. And the next time you see me, they have black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Mal, will you just look how clear this looks in the green? I know! Like I said, I've been... Four years, five years ago, four years ago, I would have been scared that you pulled that, but now I'm like, I've got like a big smile on my face. You look at like the intricacy here on the, um, oh, yeah. the bottle top. Look at that. Is it like wax? Well, it's it's sort of this nice Gaelic design yeah. or something, but here's the deal. We open them. The number got picked. Try before we die. Oh, I know. The drum, limited edition from Ardbeg. It's been here for a bit, so we'll just do this for a few seconds. Hope we don't have a cork failure. But, uh, hmm. I'm excited. Let the rambustious Beverly, oh, the rambunctious <laughs> Reverly begin. Wow. Look at that. Look at this dog with his little Mardi Gras outfit on. He is. He's freaking red. Oh, it's, and it's, what is it? It looks like pineapples and bananas. Yeah. Oh, all sorts of fruit, actually. Oh, who, 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 who are we thinking of from the, um, uh, the fifties, the, yeah, uh, um, the dancer, singer. Yeah. Oh, I can't think of her name. Carmen Miranda. Okay. Good job. I think we're going to have a successful cork. Ooh, that's almost telling you I'm ready to be drank. It, it, it. <laughs> When I just jump ahead, that was really oh. fruity and hard beggy. You know what we didn't get? Some caps. I'm gonna go get go get some caps. I really hope those gurgles came through for everybody. That was just a little bit of that Carmen Miranda um, wow. beat. The Ardbeg Drum Malcolm, limited edition, not available anymore. I don't think we're going to get an age, but let's see what they say. I see the word vanilla, dark chocolate. ABV? Long, smoky finish, 46% ABV. Right. So this is not the committee release drum, but this is still the drum. Um, a flamboyant jamboree of flavors with fragrant pine resin, wood smoke, and sea spray dancing alongside ripe bananas and pineapple, lavender, licorice, and vanilla. Wow. This is just They're selling this. Oh my gosh. It's been a long time coming. Now, it turns out now, while this breathes just a little bit, yeah. that you like the Ardbegs. I, you know what? I, I, 
I really have started to take to him. Yeah. I've really started to get to that, that, that region that we get into every so often yeah. when I was really, oh no. Yeah. I, I'm, I really do look forward to it. Like I said, I'm not lying. I have looked at that ball, even though maybe it moved a little bit. And I was like, nope, I don't want to be on set when that gets pulled. And now I'm thoroughly <laughs> looking forward to this. I am really looking forward to this too. And, uh, and I don't, we didn't, didn't read anything about pee or any of that type it's of stuff. It's got the smoke. Yep. The wood smoke. And I, I did that little that little sneaky cork nosing, and it was so fruity and so smoky. Looking forward to this. Yeah. Yeah, get my glass over, please. All right. Let's <laughs> let's take a look at. Uh, we were noting how lightly colored the whiskey is in the the green bottle, but now that it's in our clear glass, um, it is. Uh, this is a no age statement. Um, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna certainly be uh, no color added non-chill filtered let's see if they declare that non-chill filtered for sure and there is no way they have added color to this whiskey um just given the color we have here it's and it's a limited edition so again it's extremely it's light not a core offering are we in a um Oh, let's let's get creative because we have this wonderfully creative label and these light fruity um, so. I, you know, I, I would throw this like pineapple juice. All right. Or like some, maybe pear. Right, right. I feel like we're in a, a watered down apple juice. That too? Yep. Um, a, a woodchuck hard cider. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, it, is, it is very light gold. Yes. Very light Hits. gold. Right. This, if we were in a wine, we're in a Chardonnay. Yes. Yes. Um, again, betraying the foundational spirit of an Ardbeg, as usual, the color. The limited edition drum with those hints of color across the label. And those legs are starting oh, to develop. Yeah, you've done good. I uh, did not give a Tempest and look for any legs but i see them coming on your glass for sure oh oh i've got a nice couple runners yeah oh yeah yeah again that's a nice oh little, yeah oh right? yeah <laughs> that's uh attributed a little bit to the abv to the spirit and um if i have this right ardbeg is also overseen by dr bill who's from Glen Morangi. Oh, really? Yes. So he's two times ahead. Well, you know, he dances on the left and he dances on the right. And actually, uh, to, to the degree that, I mean, I, I can, must be really good for him to be able to play both sides because um, they're two different. Imagine if he had a no-compete order. Well, I'm not competing. Ardbeg and Glen Morangi, right? We have an Isla and we have a Highland. Yep. We have the, the Glen Morangi, the tallest stills, the lightest spirit. We've got something a little more depth here. All right. Let's let's smell. Let's nose it. <laughs> Everything I noted right off the cork. Fruity and yet still that art bag underneath. Now I pick up the pineapple. Yes, I do that, too. That's like almost like like very present, right? It's yeah. that sharp, fresh pineapple. And now that it's starting to just dissipate, now you're getting those those underlying odd big the, the classic, yes. right? The, the the juice itself. How do they do it? It's that pesky charred wood and what it held before. Yeah, now you can start. Oh, it's really camping up right yeah, now, right? Now you yeah. Can start. The initial, you get all oh, that the fruitiness. Fruit, yes. But now it's really starting to settle. And now I would be like, oh, yeah, that's an art bag. Yeah, <laughs> right. It, 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 and it is an art bag. It's, it's not um, a Lafroy, right? Even though it's an island, it's a smoky. No, the Lafroy has a. I always find that Lafroy has a little bit more bite to it. Yeah, it has Jim a little bit in the like, locker for It's a like, yeah, wait, I'm yeah. going to hit and ruin yeah. your day. Whereas now I'm finding these odd bags are very, and not that the Lafroy ruins your day. No, no, no. Right? But, but yeah, 
but the art bags are well just yeah. we're just well crafted they make it like into like a true science dr bill okay all right i'm good you ready yeah all right so we've agreed yeah we're excited cheers cheers long time coming Oh, wow. Yeah. Layers of flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Layers of flavor. Fruit, smoke, classic Ardbeg, and then bam, a banana. So I'll take it even one more step further. Yeah. I got some chocolate. Mm -hmm. I almost thought I was drinking the Perpetuum. Okay. Almost. Yeah. Like, almost like, oh, that's what, and then all of a sudden it changes. Yeah. And then, like you said, you get that fruit, yeah. and then it's like you feel like you're a little bit of smoke, and then boom, that banana, like um, the sweet, when yeah. you get the chewies, the banana flavored, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just like that. Right, right, it's it's a candy banana. Correct. Right, right. Wow. <sighs> yeah, okay, yeah. Holy crap, that's good. <laughs> we're just gonna let the camera roll. And we're just gonna sit here and drink this whiskey. Um, oh my gosh. Um, so the Ardbeg drum, right? Clearly an Ardbeg foundation, but the way that they have been able to bring out these fruit flavors, these tropical fruit flavors, these um, Middle Earth, and not Tolkien, but Equator, banana, yep. pineapple, right? And then, Chocolate, of course, uh, sourced uh, oftentimes from the cocoa, right, in Africa, right? So we have this like middle band of the planet here residing wow. in this whiskey, which is um, produced on a small island in Scotland. <laughs> Stunning. It is so good. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and this is going to, so I'll, as a space side man, now moving into like, oh yeah, and say, oh, I actually enjoy an odd bag. This is just, I like the Perpetuum, and the Perpetuum is really good. This is just stunning. I, I can't believe this comes out of a bottle. No, that, that this is an Isla. Right, that right, takes right. It, yes. The wonderful fruitiness, and if it was, a space side and all this and its foundation was a light fragrant spirit but that they have built this upon a hearty smoky spirit which is there which is yes. there it's not like it it's it's masked it's just oh yeah oh yeah you can just top that right off three fingers <laughs> <laughs> but it's there and you and you get to enjoy that part of it because you're brought it's such a nice welcome to it and then such a great ending. And then you have this little bit of, oh yeah, I'm an odd bag. So I've just learned something from the back of the bottle. It's not an odd bag. <laughs> Ex bourbon. And do you want to hazard a guess? A finishing cask. The obvious would I would say is the sherry, but I find it hard to believe this is sherry cask in here. Definitely not a sherry. Rum? Rum. Pa rum pum pum pum. Wow. Very good, Malcolm. Yeah. Um, rested in X rum cask from the Americas to produce a downright wondrous paradiddle of aromas fragrant so we learned it here together some of you may have already known it the Ardbeg drum bourbon to rum cask which will generate perhaps some of these Caribbean again closer flavors. to the center flavors the pineapple the banana the chocolate and I've noticed that and of course, this is obviously I've, now I know it's rum, but it's if you allow it to linger at the back of your throat, mm -hmm. that's when you start to get a little bit of spice, a little bit of something. But we've had a number of rum casks 
you can say if I believe you. Well, we've had the Balvini Caribbean. Oh cast. yeah, yeah, okay. We've yeah. had the Fire and Cane. Oh yeah. Okay, and there are a few others in here. This is not like them. Mm -mm. This is something completely different in terms of a rum finish. And I did just pick up the Glenlivet Fusion, which is a rum cask as well. But again, this is some, this is a different beast. No. Eating to its own. I'm not going to say we beastie. Beating to its own drum. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> see what see what we got here. My pal cool. mouth, right? Yeah, right, right, right. I'm I'm just still in shock. Uh, yeah, this is a wonderful drink. I'm I'm just absolutely taken aback by it. I I would never say that. Hey, I could sit down and just drink a bottle of hard bag, but I could between this and the perpetuum, vanilla, hints, vanilla, chocolate, banana, pineapple. Smoke. Even more so now, it's had time to breathe. Nothing deep and dark about this whiskey at all. No, you... 46% ABV. Is it punching you? No, but I, I like that 46%. Yeah, I yeah. think that, for me, is like that perfect that perfect ABV. Doesn't really hurt you, but it, but it's enough to say, hey, you're drinking yeah. alcohol. It is a sweet spot. I agree. Um, Discontinued for a number of years, but certainly you should go out and get one if there's a, a local watering hole and they've got some on the shelf. Get a glass. Yeah, wow, right? that's good. Um, it, it, you know what this is going to force me to consider? Buying another one? Sourcing a committee release drum. Oh! Mm. <laughs> I'm going to need your card again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I'm just, I'm just gonna put you on my card. Just yeah, give you yeah. my. Just name. send me one. Yeah. Do I need anybody else? Yeah. 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 That would be good. Fantastic. Wonderful drink. The Ardbeg Drum coming in at 46. percent It is a middle planet experience. Chocolate, <laughs> fruits, ca beach campfire. Oh. Where, where else are you having that? But in the center of this planet. It smells good. Tastes freaking fantastic. Yeah. I, f I just want to stretch this out so the crew has to wait for their taste. I say you freaking just ball it up and just be done with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> you're number one. one. We're number one. one. <laughs> We're number one. But, but to go back to this, uh, you know, we, we've we touched on it on, on, on when, it, when these numbers pull up. The fact that someone like Ardbeg can actually do this, just really... It, enlightens the entire Scotch world in mm -hmm. the sense that people are capable of doing things that you would I would never ever believe that you could do this to a to a, to a Scotch. What do we know? There are no bananas added to this. Correct. There are no pineapples or chocolate added to this yet we're obviously having these Experience experiences. It. It's just crazy. Yeah. It's madness. Wonderfully crazy. It's a mad 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 world. Mm. All right. Okay. Well, obviously, we've enjoyed this drink. We hope you get to have one, too. Let's see what the crew has in store for us. All right. Let's see. I think I'll read them out. <clears throat> Go ahead. May your trouble be less and your blessings more and nothing but happiness come through the door. Cheers. So it turns out the crew has let us know that not Mardi Gras, but Carnival. Oh. And this was the 2019 release. All right. And so this is five years sitting on the shelf. Oh. Cheers. Well, we're not dead. No. <laughs> and we had a sip. So let me tell you, Mel. It's great to know that we were close on Mardi Gras, but Carnival. Gotcha. Mardi Gras, of course, is uh, New Orleans yes. and all that. Where's Carnival? Brazil. Yes. Right. So I'm going to need you to work on your beard. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a wonderful Ardbeg. Yes. And again, I'm not going to give this to somebody to say, this is what Ardbeg is. No, no, no. I'm going to give this to somebody who knows what Ardbeg is and knows what Ardbeg can be. Right, but this is not an entry level art bag for anybody, even though they would like it too, because of what it is. Have the 10. And if you like that, 
and you can find it. Have the drum. Oof. Excellent.